Hey VC, I'm back with another video. This is a huge Goodwill haul, my biggest Goodwill haul to date, and that is saying a lot because I have found so much cool stuff at Goodwill. Uh, but yeah, walked in there today and found a ton of CDs. Didn't find any at the usual rack where they're usually over at, uh, but as I was walking out, I noticed that they had just brought out one of the carts from the back with all the stuff they were going to put out today on it, and in the bottom bucket, uh, there were a bunch of CDs, well over 150 CDs, and I dug through there and found so much cool stuff. I'm still just blown away that this stuff ended up in Sealy, Texas. I don't know how. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm the only person that listens to any of this music here. Um, everybody else is just into country or the people that do listen to rock. It's like Led Zeppelin and ACDC and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, I'll go ahead and get right into this. Uh, Unfortunately, one of these CDs wasn't in there. As I was digging through, I was kind of going through and looking at them to make sure they were in there, and I must have skipped over this one, but uh, it's Van Zant, Get Right With The Man. Never heard this album, wish it was in there, but for a dollar it wasn't huge, a huge loss. Uh, now on to the rest of the stuff. Molly Hatchet Greatest Hits. The Best of the Sweet. Hearts Greatest Hits. Quiet Riot, Winner Takes All. I have this on cassette, and it's a great, greatest hits album. Santana, Supernatural. I've never heard this album, but it looks good. Ted Nugent, Penetrator. Never heard this album either, but I have seen it before. We got The Ultimate Ted Nugent. This is a two-disc greatest hits album. The Very Best of Asia. Golden Earring. Um... The continuing story of Radar Love. I've never listened to any of their music, but I have heard of them, so I decided to pick that up and give it a try. Then I found Journey Arrival, which is an album that I've wanted for a while. Uh, my favorite era of Journey is Steve Perry, but this is a great album. It's with their second singer, Steve Ajiri, I think that's how you say it. Uh, but he sounds pretty close to Steve Perry, so it works with the music. Uh, and then we got Trickster's self-titled album. Then Vixen, Rev It Up. Bad Company, 10 from 6. Tesla, 5 Man Acoustical Jam. And Skid Row, Slave to the Grind. And that is half of the CDs. Then we got Rush, Test for Echo. Never heard this album, but picked it up because it is Rush. And also this one too, Vapor Trails, never heard this album, but picked it up. And then A Farewell to Kings, which is a fantastic album, I have heard that one. And Caress of Steel, which is another great album. And this next one was one of the ones that really blew me away, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. I couldn't believe I found that. Damn Yankees Don't Tread, this is a great album. Frank Marino and Mahogany Rush Live. Couldn't believe I found that on CD. Also this one, April Wine, The Nature of the Beast. My favorite April Wine album. Van Halen for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. One of my favorite Van Halen albums. The Essential UFO. Triumph Rock and Roll Machine. Rick Emmett's solo album, Absolutely. I've never heard this, but I've seen it before, and I'm sure it's great because he is a great guitarist and vocalist. Billy Thorpe, Children of the Sun Revisited. And on to the last few. Y&T, Yesterday and Today Live. I've wanted this live album for so long, and I just haven't bought a copy until now. The Very Best of Dokken. I already have a copy of this, but for a buck, I wasn't going to leave it behind. Great White of uh, Psycho City. This is a fantastic Great White album. Great White Greatest Hits. Thin Lizzy's Jailbreak. And last but not least, Black Sabbath Dehumanizer. This is a fantastic Black Sabbath album. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think about my haul, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.